Hello there and welcome. If you don't want to be like your parents, right? Oh, I'm excited about this topic. I, I, I love this because it's part of me. It's part how everything started, even these videos that I'm making. Um, such a great topic. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So the first one, the first part is actually practicing to be you, to be yourself. And what I mean by that? Uh, someone said once, uh, your responsibility is not the family that you're born in. I know many people from different countries and from different cultures and so on. It's very hard to swallow that concept. But if it's family, okay, fine. But if it's not functional, which is in most of the cases, I'm coming from this functional family. This is the way you do it. This is the way I did it. This is my perspective. And then you take from it like what works for you. But this is the way I did it. And that I'm thinking that it's supposed to be done. So your responsibility is not the family that you're born in. Your only responsibility is the family you make, the one you, you, you make, you decide to have in your life. That's your only responsibility. It's not that you're born in that family. It's not responsible, your responsibility. And this is a good, this is a good thing because this is a, a, a an indication that you don't like something. You see something that you don't like. You see something that you don't want to become. And this is this is the great thing. Actually, you should celebrate celebrate it, you know. Take a cup of cup of tea or whatever, doesn't matter, a beer, doesn't matter what you're drinking. You should celebrate this because this is the first uh realization uh about the something that you don't want. You become you became a bit more aware of what you don't want and what you want in life. And this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. So I want you to be honest. I want to be honest with yourself. If you want to do something in your life, be honest and do it. Don't let other people influencing you, your truth for what you're born and just what you're meant to, to, to be doing uh, on this planet, right? Um, it's very hard to be honest, right? Because, because of the acceptance, whether we're going to be loved or not from others, right? So this is the practice, this is the great practice. I started doing it, I used to live with my brother and I started doing it even though I don't know how he... Um, processed all those stuff that I was doing like uh, in another room next to him you know um, next to his room um, I started doing I, was, I started meditating I started doing uh, some breathing exercises and I started doing lots of other uh, different things that are uh, helping me and that I could connect with but that was not him and he could not digest those things. But still this is a great practice because you start being who you are. You start being yourself. You start to be authentic and there is no, there is no uh, better practice than this one. Start, at very, start where you are right now at this point in your life. Doesn't matter who it is, brother, mother, sister, aunt, grandma, grandpa, doesn't matter started it's a good practice it's scary but as you do it once as you do it twice as you do it many times it starts to be normal it starts to be like a daily routine and you stop thinking and you start focusing more on what you're doing and by start focusing on yourself and doing it you become more more empowered you become more of who you are, what you want to do actually. 
So your focus is not outside of you, your focus is inside of you. And this is a great way to start. Um, it's very scary, I know, but it's worth it. As you do it first time, the first time you realize you can do it, you you just you need you don't need many times. You just need a couple of times that you know that your brain says to you, "Hmm, we already did it and it works, so I can do it again." You know, and so it takes a few times, but when you start doing it uh, after well, after a while, after a month or something, it's it becomes automatic, and another person either accept it or reject it. And you cannot choose what, what how they're gonna react. You can only choose for yourself. And that should be the way, I think. My story began um, by becoming who I want to become. If it's necessary, even in my story, it's like this. Uh, I moved away from my... Uh, home where I used to live with my brother we used to live together so I moved because it didn't allow me to to really express fully of who I am it was a, a it was a, a really uh, strong and intense judgment of that I just felt it in the air as I was thinking what he is thinking about me <laughs> because it was important he is my brother so but still uh, at what cost you're gonna either do what you want or not do what you want so I decided to to move out to start living on my own so if it's necessary I don't suggest you to do this that I did it a bit extreme maybe but I really wanted to so I did it it felt right for me and I did it so I started living on my own and as more time I spent it with myself, I started learning about myself and I started doing the things that I want to do. And I encourage everyone that he, that feels is right for you to, to, to do that, then do it. Start doing it. Be brave. <laughs> Bravery will save you a lot of time in life, believe me or not. Bravery saves time, always. So I did it. And it set me more free. I was able to do what I want, whenever I want. It, I didn't have some impacts, like uh, limitations of time, when and what can I do or not do, or whether how he, how he gonna react or not gonna react. So this is really, very a great thing to do, to start living on your own if you want to be, become more you, more of who you are. So this is the, the, the great thing that I did, the most beautiful thing that I did last year, <laughs> to move away from the home and start living on my own. So the third part that I wanted to, to talk about today is um, you have to define who you are. You have to f define who you are, truly are, your authentic nature. And I'm gonna share the, the, in the next video how you do that, how I did it, and how I found what is really true for me, what really resonates with me, and I got the answers and it's clear for me now. And that's why I start doing this video, that's why I start doing other things, everything that I wanted to. You just start. At what point you really uh, just uh, say to yourself, it's enough, and you start doing it. You start doing all the things that you wanted to do. No matter how long it takes, no matter how hard it is, no matter you don't have... Then, then uh, this voice in your head that is really weak, fearful, starts to sink, you know, starts to become very, very, very calm, very silent. And this strong, that is really you, that you know that you feel, yeah, that's a, that's a key word, to feel, feeling. That feels right, it's stronger than this one that is weak. And that's how you start uh, taking actions, which is the crucial part for everything. 
you can fantasize a lot about it and that just uh, drains your energy and releases your energy which is not recommendable but I did it a lot of time lots of times and many other people do the same because it's many times it's scary to do the thing that you want to do because somehow someone somewhere convinced you during the time during the life and that is uh, that is not easy because they couldn't do it probably so the third part I wrote it here how you define it uh, what is your nature or what is the truth for you and the things that will give you fuel to go really go after what you want um, it's actually basically the feeling you have to find your identity your 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 true identity the feeling that you want to live to experience over and over again so i call it here feeling you can't describe feeling you know is right i wrote it here the last section i don't know if you can see it and here's the the how it works i'm going to post that picture somewhere Oh, I have to stop. This is already 11 minutes. See you in the next video and explanation how you do it.